the wind in Dubai can hit 80 miles an hour. Protecting buildings from these storms is another challenge for the city's engineers. And this is the place where they come to test their designs. Tom Bell Wright runs an outdoor laboratory that can simulate a desert storm. Have you got this beam set up correctly for these guys over here? Tom's job is to test the cladding that makes up the skin of skyscrapers. And he uses an old aircraft engine as a giant wind machine. So this test today will we'll test for, for everything that Mother Nature can throw at the building. If the system is going to fail, we're going to find out where it fails and how it fails. As he brings it up to full speed, it will be generating about 145 kilometers per hour. The crew add water into the mix, so even tiny cracks in the panels show up. If the inspectors spot just a trace of water inside, the design will fail. So the, uh, how'd it go, guys? All good, I'm told. So that's, uh, so that's that test out of the way. This, this dynamic test is a great test that are representative of the, of the real weather that we get. It's the kind of forces that buildings have to be built to resist. But it's not enough just to protect the outer parts of a building. In the Burj Al Arab, the most impressive technology lies hidden under its skin. The winds blowing across the Gulf are so strong, they could bend or even break the building's concrete core. So engineers wrap the Burj Al Arab in a strong steel frame, bolted to a steel spine, an exoskeleton. This ingenious invention spreads the force of the wind and stabilizes the concrete core. Hidden inside the skeleton are shock absorbers. These move against the direction of the wind and reduce the motion even more, so guests can sip their expensive cocktails without feeling seasick. 